And still on health, Katsina State Governor Aminu Bello Masari has formally launched the Saving One Million Lives Community Medical Outreach Program with a renewed call on heads of families to encourage pregnant women uh, to attend. The governor equally said funds have been made available to 34 local government areas of the state to implement the medical outreach at ward levels. TVC News correspondent in Katsena, State Abdul Latif Yusuf, reports. The medical outreach has so far been implemented in 15 local governments of the state, a move that has awakened families to the need to take maternal and child health more serious. Governor Aminu Bello Masari said the state has recorded much in the area of provision of quality health to the people. Indeed, our nation has made modest progress in the health sector over the last two decades, even though not commensurate with the huge investment in the three levels of government. Aggregate data shows that 900,000 children and mothers are dying per year. This low rate of progress the serious economic and developmental consequences and therefore unacceptable. We have observed that solutions focused on improved inputs have not worked in the past, but the availability of many of the needed inputs such as health facilities and trained health workers suggest that the governance broadly defined is the binding constraint. We have completed the pilot phase we have done our studies and we have seen that this is a program that is most beneficial to our people. It encompasses all the six pillars of saving one million lives and it is done um, at once. In one place, we address women and educate them. Health promotion is very, very important because it brings about behavioral change. When they get the information, the behavioral change, and that is the most important thing. All the six pillars of saving one million lives, the services, required under them are provided free of charge. It appears parents are happy with the new health initiative as large turnout was witnessed at every outreach. Abdul Latif Yusuf, TVC News, Kazana.